And now, First Warn 5 Weather with meteorologist Andrew Chung. Welcome back everyone. Let's take a look at the maps. We have a warm front paying a visit to parts of the valley. Let me show you why. Uh, where the run, warm front has already passed on by. We're getting winds out of the southeast in Brownsville, but the front has not passed through McAllen or Westlake. We're getting winds out of the northwest and north in Port Isabel. Winds are to the south at this time. So we've got temperatures in some parts in the 70s, elsewhere in the 60s. We're also seeing some light rain showers from time to time for today and lots of clouds. But late this afternoon, we did see a bit of a break in the clouds here at the station. We expect mostly cloudy skies for tonight. I've drawn the front on the map so ahead of the front or just to the west of the front we've got temperatures in the 60s in many parts of Hidalgo County but in Cameron Wilson County we're seeing temperatures in the 70s you can see the temperatures right now 75 in Raymondville we're in the upper 60s in Harlingen but mid 70s in Brownsville where the front has not passed on through we're in the lower 60s in McAllen Edinburgh and 55 in Rio Grande City all right if you're going out for this evening some of you may want that light sweater or jacket it's going to be cool not terribly cold but cool for the Saturday night with temperatures hovering in the mid 60s. We're calling for mostly cloudy skies and you may also want that umbrella as we're going to leave in a slight chance, a 20% chance for some spotty showers for this evening. Later on tonight, there is a chance for some patchy overnight fog. So there's a front draped over part of the valley. We're seeing those showers moving along the Gulf Coast. Lots of clouds over to the north as well. And look at the temperatures right now. Not too bad for this early Saturday evening. 51 degrees in San Antonio, 72 in El Paso, 53 in Dallas, Fort Worth, 50 in Longview, 59 in Houston, and 58 in Del Rio. So here is Future Track. We expect mostly cloudy skies to continue overnight into at least the first half of Super Bowl Sunday. And the model's paying a slight chance for some on and off showers for tonight. There is that better chance for some patchy overnight fog tonight into tomorrow morning. Uh, could be dense in some spots. Be careful when driving late tonight and tomorrow morning. Now we should see partly sunny skies by tomorrow afternoon. If you have outdoor grilling plans for tomorrow afternoon, weather looks good and warmer uh, for tomorrow during the p.m. hour. Hours. Then for tomorrow night, we'll keep another chance of that patchy overnight fog into Monday morning. And then part of the cloudy skies return for Monday afternoon after that chance of fog in the morning. On the water, we've got winds out of the southeast at 10 to 15 knots. Bay waters are a moderate shop. Your next tide is a low tide at 340 in the morning. Should be a high tide at 125 tomorrow afternoon. And the seas are 2 to 6 feet. Patchy fog, a good possibility tonight as well as for tomorrow morning. So for tonight, mostly cloudy. We'll keep rain chances at 20% for this evening and overnight with a low temperature of 64 degrees. Watch out for that patchy overnight fog as well as for tomorrow morning. And then partly sunny skies return for tomorrow. It is going to be warmer for tomorrow with a high temperature of 82 degrees. A little bit breezy with winds out of the south to southeast at 10 to 20 miles an hour. Now we have a very warm first half of next week. Thanks to winds coming from the south to southwest off the mountains of Mexico. Look at this 87 on Monday, partly cloudy, mostly sunny, even hot on Tuesday with a high temperature of 91 degrees. Another front does arrive on Wednesday. This is a rather weak front. We'll still see a bit of a cool down with high temperatures right around 80 on Thursday, upper 70s for next Friday and Saturday. That's your.